Welcome to Bug Boring Engineering. So what I've collected, being a carpenter, is several samples of bugs of wood that bugs and beetles have bored into. And um, I wanted to start off with the smallest. So I, I'm doing this just to um, give kids a, a inside detail view of what uh, bugs are doing to wood and if it's not built properly and the wood isn't protected what they can do so you can see I'm not sure I'm hoping you can obviously you know what the size of a pencil is there's a little teeny hole other than that on this side of the wood there isn't much uh, evidence that there's bugs boring into the wood here's another larger hole there's another little hole and nothing on the back. But if you cut away to the sides, you can actually see through and blow air through this piece of wood. So these are powder post beetles that have gotten in there. They, they eat in, they eat into the wood, they come out, they lay their eggs, the eggs hatch, they come out and the eggs turn around and bore back into the wood. And here is, here is the sawdust after they are done. So it is so fine, it's finer than sand, finer than salt. In fact, some of it is just blowing away in the wind as I push that, tap that down. So here's another example. Uh, once again, not much evidence on the outside of the wood, but if you cut it, look what they've done to the inside. I mean, it's like Swiss cheese. You can see through there. So on the outside, very little evidence. You know, here's some. And obviously, as a bigger board, there'd be more holes. But who would think... That would be so many holes in there that these powder post beetles would just go on forever if they were allowed to. So it's important to keep your under the house um, dry and moisture free as possible because once the wood gets wet, it um, that's when the bugs start to uh, like to eat it and live in it and enjoy the company. This one here is just a small chunk of a sea, uh, some kind of a sea boring um, urchin thing. This was driftwood that I picked up off of the beach. And you can see how perfectly they've dug their holes. And if I was more of a scientist and than a wood guy, I'd tell you all the names of exactly what each one of these were. Once again, this is a cross section. Uh, a 2 by 4 and if you look at the outside there's not really that much damage but the 2 by 4, two by four is supposed to be solid and hold up your house well this is what they've, they've eaten through the board and I'm not sure if these were termites or what exactly they were but these little guys are bug boring engineers. I have some other samples that will show you. You know, you would think they're not that smart, but they eat right to the bitter end like this guy. You know, how did they know to stop right there? And very few of the holes are combined. Each hole is its separate hole. They're not like overlapped. So how did they know how to bore next to the other hole without going any further. This was uh, termites. This was a treated piece of lumber. So the treatments on treated lumber usually go on the exterior and it doesn't absorb all the way into the wood. So this block of wood was underneath a, a porch step and they figured that if they put the treated one underneath, it would save the step from rotting from the bottom. Kind of a replacement piece. 
So as this one rots, they would put in another one. But it was turned upside down. And this was called sunwood, treated sunwood. And the termites physically ate through to the side. See how, you know, how smart is that? They know exactly when to stop. And what, what they're doing here is they, they excavate the lumber, the sawdust. They take it somewhere else. Sometimes you'll be able to see a little sawdust pile of termites or ants, carpenter ants. And what they're doing is they're making a home for themselves. They're building their house with our material. So here's some others. Um, once again, if you can see that clearly, there's hundreds of little, little teeny pathways that these, this one, the bigger holes like this were probably more of a termite or carpenter ant. The little teeny ones were um, probably a uh, powder post beetle. You can see the powder. And technically, I wish I would know the exact terms for these, but you can look it up for your science project if you need to. And this was more. So I'm working my way to this one over here. You can't see it, but uh, this is a, a log. And there's very, very small channels that start. And I made a colored relief of it. So the bugs have chewed, chewed up a pathway between the bark and the wood and they've started I don't know if it was 20 bugs that did this or one bug and they would eat up to a certain point and turn around and start another path but if you look really carefully you can see the different pathways that the bug he's got kind of a, a central location where they've started and these over here, they go through here, and then they start up this pathway. So, you know, there's some kind of a some kind of a smart bug going on, and they're after the uh, the bark, the soft um, inside of the bark, and they'll chew it up, and that's their their dinner dessert. Um, this one here, excuse me for a second. This is a fiber board. It's in, found in construction, often used for sound and some very, very small amount of insulation properties. But um, typically, so this is a man-made product. It's glue and sawdust pressed together to make this board. And this is termites where we found it and did the repair. Uh, this is termites, and they're eating at the board to make room for their, their nest and their young. They've eaten through it. So they'll, they'll stay there for years, given the opportunity. And then this one, I think I've covered it. So this one, I just pulled the bark off another log. And once again, we have those patterns of the... Um, of the bugs eating. Let me show you if I can clean this off. Hold on. Don't click it off yet. I'm going to make... Okay, here we go. Make a disturbance in the forest. Okay. There's another one right here. So, you can see that this particular bug, they either, you know, 20 of them or 15 of them went up in the same path or it was the same bug it would eat up and then come back and come back and uh, back and back and forth back and forth so so your first science project if you're looking for something out of the ordinary to discover uh, look into uh, bug boring engineering and um, study bugs it's part of the science technology engineering and 
math curriculum that schools are putting out. And so even though this might be a dirty job, but uh, understanding how bugs eat our world is critical because they are literally eating our houses um, if you give them a chance. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, give you some more insights on bird nests and, oh, bird nests and beehives. Bugs, bird nests, and beehives. Okay, thank you, bye.